Born and raised in Detroit, Andy Krieger creates sculptural forms out of wood and combines them with representational painting for a dynamic presence, which is aimed to create a feeling of connectedness and participation. Let's take a look. I'm Christine Sheffman. I'm the Director of Contemporary Art for the David Klein Gallery. We've been in business in Birmingham for 25 years. I've been aware of Andy's work for a few years. I've seen his work in gallery shows and you know, just as aware of him as an artist. And there's something about his work that is a appealing to me in terms of thinking of new artists that we'd like to show downtown. Andy has a certain urban quality to what he does. There's a skateboarding thing going on in some of his images. And he also has this 3D aspect to his work, which is, it's, it's fun, it's interesting. You can look at a painting from, it's not just 2D, you know, a flat, a flat surface, you can walk around it. Um, and he also tells a story in his work, there's a narrative there. It's not, it's not a static kind of thing. And that's really appealing as well. He's, uh, he's a good craftsman. He pays attention to detail. So he produces the, what he builds his paintings on, he produces beautifully. And then his, you know, his, talent, I would say. His, his work is painterly. He's a good painter. A couple years ago I started making artwork that uh, tried to blur a line between object and artwork. Um, this is a, uh, an object I made. It's a briefcase, a wooden briefcase, that, which I've always wanted to make. Uh, so I, I cut all the pieces, uh, installed the hardware, put a nice handle on it, uh, and made a Painting, so I'm trying to to blur this line between: is this a piece of art? Is it an object? Is it a product? Is it uh, if you use it for its intended purpose, it's going to get ruined? Uh, which I kind of like. I kind of hate that idea, but I like that idea at the same time. It has like a Zen sand painting feel to it. This is a painting of my son. Uh, something that you would bring to work and uh, remind yourself of why you're there. As far as picking my subjects lately, I've been working on a series of uh, paintings of uh, photographs that I've taken of people in, caught in midair, um, similar to the, the back flipping uh, young lady behind me. There's like this momentary, this sense of freedom just permanently captured that uh, I really like. There's just like this split second, this microsecond that's captured. So you can take your time and, you know, look at the piece and, uh, you know, you can spend years with this one singular moment. I like that. I'm interested in static motion. This is a piece that uh, utilizes uh, stop motion techniques. Uh, Edward Moybridge and this running horse. As far as uh, subject matter, uh, giants have frequently been uh, something I've, uh, I've addressed, uh, something that I used to pretend to be when I was a kid, tramping through snow piles. It made me think like, you know, like it was just unsustainable, this uh, people getting too big for their environment. So uh, in essence, this is a piece about Fantasy, environmentalism, I don't know. He's got a narrative. It's, you know, it's just a little slice of life maybe that he's showing you, but there's, there's something there. And it's not just about being, um, being a great realist painter. It's about really what he's interested in and trying to get across to you. This is the King Kong electronic panic play set. It's a faux game I made. Uh, based on a scene from the original King Kong. Um, it is based on uh, those 1970s electronic vibrating football games that everybody owned and hated. They didn't work very well. I thought I would try and make something equally as uh, useless, but maybe a little more uh, fun and a little more flair to it. I start off designing uh, shapes, and I, I can do these in wood very quickly. Um, there's, there's no goal in mind, it's just to create a shape, a pleasing shape. Um, 
Later on, I will find a reference photo that I, I, I like, that I'm in love with, and I will design a, a form around that photo, basically based off of these uh, forms that I've already made. So I'm essentially making uh, dioramas. Uh, this is kind of a finished product. Um, it's a finished painting. It's uh, the girl backflipping a friend of mine's daughter on a trampoline, trying to make a little world that uh, you can, you know, kind of put your face in and, and really try and become a part of it. And that's a little bit of my process. Instead of just painting on canvas or painting on a board or a panel, I've got to build this thing and and turn it into something else. And uh, it's hard for me to just do work directly. I, I've got to trick my brain, which is hard to do because you know what you're up to. So. You can learn more about Andy Krieger at DetroitReforms.org.